We're gonna be using this as our to my channel as you can tell from the title it's a clean with me video you guys this house needs thorough deep cleaning it's been a long time since I cleaned this house I told you guys that we were down with the flu so the time now is currently almost 9 30 um I think I'm blocking it <laughs> it, oh, it is almost 9 30 <sighs> I'm starting this sleep because I had to rock Zane to sleep. I hope that's it for the night. I'm really hoping, but if not, it we just gonna it just has to be what it is. Um, so I'm really hoping that that's him settled for the night. How we're gonna tackle this cleaning is we're gonna start off with the kitchen. If you if you're someone who really struggles with cleaning, I would really advise that you get do have a cleaning schedule. I have one here. I know that if I Bring this thing close to you guys it's not gonna show what I need it to show because I think yeah you guys can probably see I've got a cleaning shadow and the first thing I have here to tackle is the kitchen and that's where majority of the work load is it we've got got loads to do in that kitchen I'm also gonna be decluttering as I go um, this house is just starting to feel a little bit like clustered like too much is just inside and i hate that i hate that feeling i hate when it's just so you know it's like you can't breathe so i'm going to be doing a little bit of this the train i've asked a few close friends of ours if they need anything if they want anything send a picture to them if they want and some of them have said okay i'll take this i'll take that and i'm just like take it because that gives me that just gives me <laughs> space to work with okay so i have this kitchen or this cleaning caddy this is where i put all of my cleaning products i know that you guys can't see everything properly but i will show you guys quickly so you guys know exactly what we are working with tonight so i have this cleaning pad this is the minky cleaning pad a mirror glass spray and I've just got a microfiber cloth here. We're going to be using this as our disinfectant for the day. We've got this um, spray here. I usually use this to just spray in the bathroom once cleaning is done. Now, I don't tend to clean the toilets. Um, Francis actually does that um, for us. So um, once he's done, I just come in and do some finishing touches. The other disinfectant spray that we're going to be using is this other festive season. They're all festive season ones, so I told you guys about it already. It's this one. This is cranberry and orange, so we're going to be using this. And then I've got clean wipes. Also, recently got this other festive season scent from, um, was it Asda? I picked this one up. Yeah, and this is Flash. This one, this is their um, seasonal scent, and this one. It's a limited edition actually and it's orange and cinnamon. Um, it's going to smell very similar to the winter spice one from Zoflora. So we're going to do that and I might just sprinkle a little of the vanilla amber um, on, on there to clean my floors. So yeah, that's it. You guys can also see that in here is needing a little bit of clean. So we're going to be doing that. First things first, I am going to be clearing out the sink, putting the dishes away. I personally feel like a clear sink makes a clean kitchen. <laughs> Whilst I'm also doing this, I'm also going to clean out the sieve in the dishwasher 
machine um this particular um see you guys will see it in a bit it actually collects loads of um dirt so i'm going to be cleaning that out um apparently you should do this once in a while um as often as you can so i'm going to be doing this here as well Next thing I'm going to be doing is to clear out this cabinet. In here, I keep my pots, um, sieve. As you can see, this cabinet, you guys, can be so disorganized. I'm still struggling to find a very perfect way to organize my pots. Um, I've also decluttered some and already like set some aside to give away. Um, so I'm just wiping this down with my Zoflora, Zof Zoflora wipes, <laughs> tongue tie there, um, as well as the Zoflora spray. And I'm just going to wipe this down, this cabinet and the one below. And then you guys can <laughs> probably see me struggling to, you know, organize my pots in this tiny cabinet. Okay, so the next thing is to clean up this stove. Um, today I'm gonna to be trying a TikTok hack. It's the baking soda and white vinegar hack. Um, I have tried many other products on that that, that, that is available to, to you to buy and if it's not done the trick for me and I'm really hoping that this, you know, does, you know, something and it actually did. It, it, <laughs> And then here I'm just dancing away. Normally when I'm cleaning, I tend to have a playlist on. Um, you can have like a cleaning playlist. If you're someone who struggles with cleaning, I would advise that you get one, a cleaning schedule. Two, get a playlist. Um, sometimes you get this on YouTube. Even if you type type a cleaning playlist um, song, they tend to have that or spotify or you can like they, they are there and i feel like this really helps with you know the mood whilst you're cleaning and you wouldn't even realize that you are you know cleaning and you enjoy the process as well and also sometimes setting a timer um sometimes walking um against time can be very 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 helpful with cleaning you just you know you just tell yourself i'm giving myself an hour to clean and within that hour you'll be surprised at you know the amount of work you've been able to put in um so yeah
Okay, so I am cleaning up my cabinets. I'm literally getting rid of things that are one expired, two things that I haven't used in six months or more. Um, sometimes I buy things that I'm going to use them to bake and then I use them and then obviously they're expired because I've not used them in a while and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just clearing this out to give me more space in here. So I'm going to be doing that to both to all the cabinets that I have in my kitchen. Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, and sunset You guys, do you have something like this in your kitchen where you just keep most things that, you know, you you use like your onions your garlic and your potatoes this particular basket in my kitchen is where i keep most things like this and honestly things can just get forgotten in here because you know it's, it's just so hard to see so i'm just wiping this away and i just want to organize them in a way that i can actually see things a bit better and then i can you know get on top with using things to avoid them spoiling or avoid me forgetting them i'm now going to move on to decluttering some spoons or throwing out some spoons i heard from the grapevine being tiktok that you're supposed to use wooden spoons for about six months because they can collect um, germs so after using them for a while you have to throw them out and um you know change them or you get 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 a new one so that's what i'm doing here and now to my fridge you guys <laughs> can you see the state of this fridge this this definitely needs some work so yeah we're gonna clean this up <laughs> Okay, so at this point, um, Zane woke up and I had to go and attend to him. And whilst I was doing that, Francis kindly helped me to do some little bits of cleaning before I could come back to it. So he's just helping me brush a little, um, put some of the dishes away. Um, I already did some, but obviously with me cleaning, I've used some things again. So he's just putting them back in the dishwasher or putting them away in the dishwasher. And yeah.
Okay, so I am now introducing my scrub daddy. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to be using this to clean my oven. Oh my god, this thing, you guys. I have tried to clean this thing to the best way possible. And it has not been, I have not been, been successful. You guys can see how yucky and honestly awful this is. So again, I saw on TikTok that you can actually open your this thing like unscrew them and clean them i never knew this so this is me attempting obviously i wasn't you know successful and i had to get francis to help me so he we finally took them out and oh my god i have never been more excited to clean something before this little thing that has really really stressed me out <laughs> i was finally able to give it a deep thorough clean and yeah it came out really nice afterwards All right, so now I'm going to be using my Zoflora disinfectant. I've added a boiling water into the sink. Um, and then I'm using this minky cleansing pad. And I'm just going to use this to go around all the surfaces in my kitchen and just disinfect everywhere.
So after mopping the floors, the last thing I like to do after my cleaning is to then go in and do my laundry. I hate to do this whilst I'm cleaning or before I start because I just can't stand, stand the noise. So now that I'm done with the cleaning, here's the finished result. <laughs> It is the next morning you guys I'm just gonna open the curtains and open the window get some fresh air in and I'm gonna go around and just collect anything that needs to go in the bin and oh my god you guys this blanket I don't know if you guys have anything in your house that does not go with your color thing or it doesn't go with your the thing of your house or anything but you use it anyway because it's just so soft that is this blanket for me doesn't go with my color theme for my living room so I, I tend to stick to browns and you know the neutral colors for my living area but this particular blanket was actually a gift from Walker League and oh my god it is so soft give keeps me warm and cozy and I just can't let it go <laughs> I think I need to go to Asda because I remember she said she got it from Asda to get one that actually goes with the color theme of my living room So for deep clean, I am going to be taking out the sofas and, you know, hovering underneath the sofa, in between the sofa, just getting any death, any dust um, in there. I've already washed, I recently washed the chairs, the fabric cover of the chairs. Um, I think I'll do another one in the new year just to keep them nice and fresh. So 
so once I'm done with this, I'm going to go around with a dandy duster. Um, if you don't have a duster in your house, I would really advise you get one. This actually gets rid of the dust really quickly. And this one, I got it from B&M and I think it was like £2 or so. Afterwards, um, I'm just going to go out, go ahead and clear out my um, little space area where I keep all my candles. Um, I've, I don't know if I mentioned, I think I did, because of Zane, I haven't been able to light candles. I heard it's not really healthy for them. So I'm just going to move these candles somewhere else because I'm not using them anyway. I'm just going to keep one. Um, my theme for this clean today is to just keep keep things nice and simple um, but festive. So I'm going to be using a lot of festive products. So whenever I clean, I like to go ahead and change my air freshener. This is the Fabrice air freshener and it's like three different scents in one. This is just absolutely amazing if you want your house to smell gorgeous. Um, so I just changed that. I have one in the living room and one in the hallway. Um, I took out every other design that I, ha I used to have here. And yes, I'm lighting a candle. <laughs> Zane is still sleeping at this point, so I'm lighting a candle just for a few minutes. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this has really motivated you to go ahead and clean your apartment um, and get ready for the festive season. And I'll see you again in my next video. Bye guys.